Hello everyone, welcome to this next question on classical mechanics. This question is from June 2018 it, and it consists of three marks. This question says, given that the Lagrangian for the motion of a simple pendulum, this is given to be this equation, right? The Lagrangian is given to us, where what is m? m is the mass of pendulum bob suspended by a string of length l, g is the acceleration due to gravity and theta is the amplitude of the pendulum from the mean position. So let us see what they are saying. They are saying say this is the mean position and some bob is suspended from this mean position through this string and this string is having length l. This bob has mass m and uh, the gravitational pull is g, right? So uh, and this bob makes a deflection of theta degree, right? So it moves here after deflection, right? So this is the thing that they are saying. This is the mean position O. So they are saying what is the Hamiltonian corresponding to this L? So out of these four, what is the value of H? So first thing that, in, uh, that we have to do is to... Uh, is to access what would be the generalized coordinates. The generalized coordinate here could be guessed uh, seeing this p and theta. So obviously the Hamiltonian is a function of generalized coordinates and generalized momenta. So p here is the generalized momenta, right, momentum because it is singular right and theta this is the generalized coordinate so we only have one generalized coordinate here right and the l the corresponding lagrangian is given to be half m square l square theta dot square plus m g l cos of theta right uh, so here we do not have to calculate individually the kinetic energy and the corresponding potential energy of the system. If one is interesting in calculating these things and seeing the detailed expression uh, of this, they can view these on uh, in the lecture series on classical mechanics. The link is given in the description, right? So in this question, they are asking what is H? So by definition, this H depending on these two coordinates p and theta that is given by this relation summation varying over j pj qj dot minus l now here in our case j is only one because we have only one generalized coordinate so our q1 is basically one and p1 is basically p which is given in question right so the momentum coordinate corresponding to this theta this is theta so this is uh, given to be p right so our h this becomes p theta dot minus l so now uh, so let us substitute the value of l here using this relation so we have minus half uh, minus half m square l square theta dot square minus mgl cos of theta right so from here this is our h from here we uh, have to eliminate this theta dot from here because in our options the uh, this theta dot is missing so how can we do that we can evaluate the expression for p or uh, yeah uh, the expression for p how we can do that? We have to partially differentiate L with respect to theta dot because we had this relation that Pj is equal to del L by del Qj dot. Please see the video lectures for this relation. So uh, here we have to calculate this thing. So what is uh, the derivative of L with respect to theta dot? Theta, theta dot is only appearing in the first term. So we had, we would have half m square l square as such because these are constants and the derivative of theta dot square, it would be 2 into theta dot. And in the second term, there is no theta dot. So it would be 0. So from here, 
we can evaluate the value of theta dot it comes out to be p divided by m square l square so let us substitute this value of theta dot into the corresponding hamiltonian so let us see what do we get from here we have h is equal to p p into p divided by m square l square right and uh, minus half m square l square and the value of theta dot square so p upon m square l square whole squared minus mgl cos of theta so when you simplify this thing here one m m square l square will cancel out so this term would be similar to this except for this coefficient half so we would have h is equal to 1 by 2 p square divided by m square l square minus mgl cos of theta so this is our answer this is the corresponding uh, hamiltonian with respect to the given lagrangian so let us see the value this value over here matches with this one so option b is the correct option in this case so the correct option here is option number b i hope you understood the problem well that is it for this video thank you for watching